Hi, welcome to Netset OS. Today in this video, we'll be discussing about next DP problem, word break problem. But before starting this, I want to let you know, I have prepared a playlist on dynamic programming where you will find all the questions related to dynamic programming, arrays, stack, and if you want to understand recursion, I have created a separate playlist for recursion. And at the end, I have solved these problems with Python code. With this, you can find backtracking, sorting, and some of the Python projects. These are in different playlists so that you can refer them easily. Now back to our question, word break problem. Here we'll be given a string a input string and a dictionary. Here we have to tell if this string can be split into multiple words such that each word of string should belongs to dictionary. For example, here we have I, I is there in dictionary, M, M is there in dictionary, A is there in dictionary. Similarly, for G, O, and od and then boy so it splits into five words and each word of this string belongs to our dictionary let's see the other example where we have our input string whereas in our dictionary i am a good boy here if we see our input string carefully it will return false because it cannot split into words which are belonging to dictionary. Here in this video, we will solve this problem by recursion and dynamic programming. So let's start with recursion. Here I have a pseudocode for recursion and a base condition where it will be checking our input string whether it is zero or not. So let's understand this with the help of an example and we will be able to know how it works with the help of recursion. Now, here we have a dictionary where we will be looking for our string. The major part here is prefix and suffix. First of all, here it will go up with the first letter I. So I'll write here prefix so that we can easily compare it with the dictionary. Now, first of all, we'll be looking for I. I is an R prefix. We'll be looking for I in the dictionary. In dictionary, we got I. As soon as we get prefix in the dictionary, we will apply recursion on suffix, which is M none. Now again, it will go for M none. Here we have A. We will look for in the dictionary but we don't have A in the dictionary. Now it will extend to M. So here we have prefix as M. Now we will look for M in the dictionary. Yes, it's there. So the rest suffix will be recursive and we will get none over here. Now as soon as we got prefix as N, we will look for and in the dictionary, it's not there. So we receive un in the suffix. Then again, we will look for nu, whether nu is there in the dictionary, it's not there. So we received suffix as n. Now again, we will look for nun, whether this prefix is there in dictionary, this time, yes, it's there in the dictionary. And our suffix is empty string. As soon as we receive the length of the string is zero, so it will return. So here it will return. Here the arrow is on all the three letters. That means we have covered for all none. So it will return from here and our cursor will shift to M none. Here we will look for whether we have covered all the possible strings, but here we have covered up to M. Now let's look for AMN. 
so we will look for prefix amn in the dictionary it's not there so our suffix was un let's look for more this time our prefix is amnu whether this prefix is there in the dictionary no so our suffix was just n and we will look for complete string of the second recursion am anyone whether am anyone is there in dictionary no it's not there so we will receive empty string as suffix here we have covered all possible strings and we have looked for all possible string in the dictionary it was not there so it will return from here and our cursor will return to i am none here you can see we have just looked for one letter which is i let's look for more so here it will look for i a whether i is there in the dictionary no so here we will receive m n u n as the suffix where recursion should happen now let's extend this to i a m but this prefix is also not there in dictionary so we will receive n u n in the suffix now if you look at carefully up till here this is u n n empty string came twice we will be solving this twice it's just the one part if we have a long string there will be more branches and this process will become more hectic as it comes twice thrice and we have to solve this separately as you can see here we received none twice so this is all about recursion so we can solve this with the help of dynamic programming let's see how here i took the same string i am none and we will solve this with the help of 6 by 6 matrix so y6 because it's a six letter word so here i have defined the indexes for i am none now let's start with length is equal to 1 here we'll be starting with one letter word which is first i and here we have our dictionary i m just three words in our dictionary so we will start with one letter is i there in dictionary yes it's there so i will mark it as true then a is a there in dictionary no it's not there so i will write it as false then m is m there in dictionary no so i will write here false n n is not there in dictionary so false u is there in dictionary no so i will write here false similarly n n is not there so i will write here false now we will start with two letter word so we will see i a is there in dictionary no it's not there when we have more than one letter word we will look for the word whether it's there in dictionary if it is not there we will split it and we will look for i separately and a separately so i is there in dictionary i is 0 0 0 0 is true then we will look for the other letter a is a there in dictionary a is 1 1 which is false so true and false will be false so 0 1 i will write here false now we will look for m 1 2 2 whether m is there in dictionary yes this time we received it directly so here i'll write true after that i'll look for mn whether mn is there in dictionary no it's not there now we will split it is m is there in dictionary m is 2 2 it's false then 3 3 it's false again so false and false will be false only so here i'll write false then we will look for nu is nu is there in dictionary 
no it's not there then we will split it is n is there 3 3 it's false over here then u 4 4 4 4 is also false so false and false will be false now let's look for un is un is there in dictionary no it's not there then we will split it u u 4 4 is false and n n is false again so here we will write false now we will look for l is equal to 3 l is equal to 3 here it will be 0 to 2 so 0 to 2 we will look for I am I am is there in dictionary no it's not there directly I am is not available in our dictionary so we will split it and we will look for I which is 0 0 and M which is 1 to 2 so I is 0 0 true and M 1 to 2 1 to 2 is also true so true and true is true so here we will have true let's mention where we split it at 0 so I'll mention over here just a small 0 so that we can remember in the last now we will look for mn is mn is available in the dictionary no it's not so we will split it over here with a is 1 is 1 1 it's false over here and 2 2 3 2 2 3 is false again so false and false will be false as it is a three letter word we will again split it with the next m and n we will look for m 1 2 2 1 to 2, 1 to 2 is true. So here we will have true and n is 3, 3. So it is false. True and false will be false. So I will mention over here false. Now the next letter is M N U. M N U is not directly present here in the dictionary. So we will split it first with M. M is 2, 2, 2, 2 is false and N U. 3 to 4 is also false. False and false will be false. Then we will split with MN. MN is 2 to 3 which is false and U 4 4 is also false. So false and false will be false. So I will mention over here false. Now we will have none. Is none present in the dictionary? This time yes it's there. So we will directly right over here true now length will be four letter now we will search for four letter word i a m n is this word is there in dictionary no it's not there so we will split it here with i i zero zero is true and the rest is a m n a m n one two three is false so true and false will be false. Now we will split I A. I A is 0 to 1. It's false. And M N 2 to 3 is also false. So false and false is again false. Then we will split it with M 0 to 2 false. And N is 3 3. It's also false. So even if we received one true on either of the three we will make it true but here we got false so i will make here false now we will look for next four letter which is a m n u is this word directly present over in the dictionary it's not there so i will split it with a a is one one false two two four is false so false and false is false. Then we will split with M. M 1 to 2. 1 to 2 is true this time. And 3 to 4 is false. So true and false will again be false. So we will split for the last AMN which is 1 to 3. 1 to 3 is of false. And U 4 4 is again false. 
so here we will get false now the next four letter word it will be m nun m nun is not directly present in the dictionary so we will split it m is 2 2 2 2 is false so here i'll write false none is 3 to 5 3 to 5 is true so false and true it will be false similarly we will look for mn mn is 2 to 3 which is false un is again false so false and false will be false now we will split with mnu mnu is 2 to 4 2 to 4 is false and n is 5 5 which is again false so here we got all the results as false so here we will have false now after four letter word we will search for five letter words whether we have i m n u in our dictionary directly no it's not there so again we need to split with i i is 0 0 true and m n u which is 1 2 4 1 2 4 is false so here we will have false then we will split for i a 0 to 1 is false and 2 to 4 is again false then we will look for i am 0 to 2 is true over here so i'll write true and n u 3 to 4 is false so true and false, false, false and false will be false. So we will split it with n. n is up to 0 to 3. 0 to 3 is false. So here we will have false and for u false again. So it will be false. So here we received false. Now we will look for m none m none directly in the dictionary no it's not there the complete string is not available in the dictionary so we will split here with a a is 1 1 true and m none 2 to 5 false so here we got false so we will split it with m and n m 1 to 2 1 to 2 is true then none 3 to 5 3 to 5 is again true this time we receive true so here i will directly write true which has been splitted at 2 so here i'll write 2 at the corner now we will look for six letter word which is completely i am none I am none is not present directly in the dictionary so we need to split it. I, I is 0, 0, it's true and M none 1 to 5, 1 to 5 is true. So true and true, we received true over here and which is splitted at 0th index. So I'll write true at 0th index. So this true which means it can be splitted into multiple words which are there in dictionary. So this is completely a true. And if I see at what alphabet they are splitted? T0. So T0 is I. T2. T2 is it is splitted at M. And then we receive true here which was for none. So let's implement this with the help of Python program. So we will go to PyCharm. So here I have already made word break program with the help of dynamic programming. First of all, we made our array which is of m cross m and m is let's say I am none. I'll take the same example 6 cross 6. Then we will iterate it one by one so that it will get its string and it will look for its string in the dictionary if it gets directly it will return true there itself if it does not receive it will go for splitting and at each point it will split as per the variable k which will start with i plus 1 
the next letter and it will look for pre-splitting point. For example, if my split is at between M none, it will look for IM and it will also look for the post splitting point and there we will have an AND condition. If both are true, then only our string will have the true and it all varies as per L. L is length of the word. First, it will start with L is equal to 1 up to length of the string. So let's run the program. Here I'll call the same string I am none and when I run the program here I receive true. Now let's make some changes in I am none is good whatever. So when I run it again it will return false. So hope you understood both the concepts recursion as well as dynamic programming. Don't worry about the code. I'll give you both the codes in the GitHub link, which will be in the description below. So hope you like the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.